friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 21st, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes and volcanoes, world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the sun for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide. No major solar flares to report, just some moderate C-class, but still a pretty sizable plasma filament ejecting from the southern hemisphere. And I've been noting that those have been increasing. Polar filament activity has been increasing. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting into view, big sunspot region, and as well on the left-hand side, so that plasma filament. We'll get a close look at that momentarily. Continue on here, looking at the outgoing imagery. Large plasma loops swirling from the surface on the left-hand side there, and that is total antipode to what was happening in the southwest region. So notable there, big plasma filament in the southwest, and as well that big sunspot that is turning in, keeping an eye on that, looking at multispectrum, pointing out the most recent activities on our sun the past two days. And you can see that plasma filament rip away. The bottom left-hand side there looks like a big plasma loop on the surface. And there are our coronal holes. Now that is set to increase our solar wind speeds over the next 24 to 36 hours as they become Earth-facing. And that is evident on the Space Weather Prediction app. Having a look at 171 angstroms, we have five sunspot regions still right now. Another close look here at those big black sunspot regions turning in. Definitely keeping an eye on that one on the left-hand side. That thing is monstrous. Space weather conditions, currently we are under none. That's right, there are none to report. And solar winds are coming in at 347 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux hyping up into the moderate C-class range. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity just hopping up now to a 2 as our solar winds have increased. And looking at the ISWA space prediction trial showing a large eruption on the backhand side. This has been updated and that is heading our way. Expected arrival 22nd into the 23rd. Now let's have a look at Alaska showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energy leaving our sun. And watching the last few images there, the southern pole region, or bottom pole region of our sun, producing yet another filament eruption. And then in the last few images on the right-hand side, outgoing, there seems to be an event being reported here, or recorded. And we'll slow down both of these events from the past little bit. South Pole, polar filament eruption, and there, most recent eruption on our sun. Now let's get to the earthquakes the past 24 hours, as we are up in over 250 right now. I do believe it may be even more, but Tonga region, 5.4 uh, magnitude, and as well a 5.2, deepest of the past 24 hours, 342 kilometer depth in that region. Largest at the last 24 hours being a 5.5 magnitude there, Papua New Guinea. And as well, Shima here, pretty deep earthquake for the region, 4.1, 4.9 magnitude earthquake here, reported Myanmar. And as well, look at this activity up into Kyrgyzstan and Pakistan still, and Afghanistan, 4.2, 4.4. And a 4.1 here reported in Greece. South Sandwich Islands reporting some activity today as well, 4.9. And as well through Central America. Seismicity continues through Puerto Rico, but interesting activity all across the Caribbean plate today, 4.6 there. Guatemala and a 4.4. Southern Mexico. Pahala, Hawaii, 3.0. And as well increasing activity up into Alaska. Allsworth with a 4.0, largest through the region. But let's have a look at USGS. 
showing actually 278 earthquakes the past 24 hours now, as we do have an earthquake swarm occurring in Utah right now. But let's have a look at Alaska right now. They're reporting just about 70 earthquakes here. No major swarming in cluster events, but look at all these widespread earthquakes around the Hawaiian island. Big island seeing lots of activity, coastal and all around. And then looking across the United States into California here, widespread activity, minor at best. Small swarm at the geysers as per usual, notable activity up into uh, Washington border, or sorry, Oregon border. And then here's that small swarm I was talking about. There was more than 40, but there's 39 reported now. And that is a fracking area as well. So yeah, earthquake swarm there. Other than that, not too much to report. Notable activity, minor activity through um, Idaho. That's right, Idaho and Montana. Now let's have a look at Canada. Look at that, 4.9 up there in Labrador Sea. All this activity, minor activity through Alberta, north of Banff, and as well all across the Yukon and Northwest Territories border. Activity through Quebec and St. Lawrence River. And as well, notable activity there. United States towards Cornwall border. Now let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world as the increased deep earthquakes that we've seen is a little bit concerning and the quiet that's happening across the African plate and through Europe increasing activity all around the Tibetan plateau we've been following along and as well look at all of this activity recently across the West Pacific plate into the Philippines plate notable there all the depths of the earthquakes all the elevated rings are how deep they were now let's have a look at windy.com showing our SO2 forecast. Large plumes still heading across the Pacific right now and as well making landfall through parts of California and Oregon. Sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by our 42 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Quick glance here at the rest of the world. Geothermal vents in Siberia. Kamchatka with the multiple erupting volcanoes there and as well sizable volcanoes through New Caledonia and westward through Indonesia. Overlooking Africa, South America. Big plumes sweeping into Europe this week with that large low that's spinning and heading your way. Full forecast details are right here. Starting out, looking over South America and Africa, daily evaporation rains until these lows move in for the 24th and 25th, and watch for those to scoot quickly into South Atlantic. And one is going to be grinding around Madagascar, so watch for heavy rains there. Overlooking North America. Multiple lows heading into the west coast and a few of them being diverted. High pressure ridge, long range. Low pressure center affecting Atlantic provinces. Expect some snow and mixed precipitation. And then watch in the long range forecast. Big lows crashing into the west coast and splitting and heading eastward through the Canadian prairies. Watch for quite a significant snowfall event through Alberta and as well British Columbia. Now overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia, low pressure there affecting Mauritius Island and Reunion, low pressure finally losing moisture through Australia, and as well a grinding low bringing lots of snow through parts of Japan and up into Russia. Quick glance here at the North Pacific as these multiple lows move through 
And that one over the Bering Strait right now is bringing around some cold temperatures for the long range. I'm telling you right now, March will not feel like spring anymore. It's pretty nice right now, very mild temperatures. We've been expecting some rain. But keeping an eye on things here developing, looking at the 10 day forecast for snowfall totals, higher elevations through British Columbia could receive upwards of 140 centimeters of snow through these regions. Alberta, southwest parts, you could see upwards of 60 centimeters. And then as far south as Colorado and New Mexico, you could see about 40 centimeters in the next 10 days. Quick glance here at the rest of the world. Much love, everybody. Notice all the snowfall in parts of North Africa through Morocco. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.